Hey guys, 8 Squid here and welcome to another Playmaker with Unity tutorial. Uh, in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, random events. Um, so this is something which lets you send a random event, as the name says, depending on what the game will choose at the time of when you call that event. So for the example of this, what I've got here this is a simple scene, what's in one of my other tutorials about doing doors. Okay, uh, My player is going to shoot, and when it hits this green circle here, or the turquoise circle, teal, whatever colour, um, it's going to destroy the enemy, and it's going to have a chance of having a item drop. So, let's show how it works, and let's see how it's all set up. I'm not going to go into detail in all of this. You can check out this, how it all is done, like in my doors, shooting, movement tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to open the door. If I shoot, wrong button, shoot. Try again, press the fire button. You'll see he dies, nothing happens. So let's see if it works this time. Okay, we'll open the door, shoot. And you see, we get this little uh, box here, what appears, and this represents my item drop. All right? Okay, so let's have a look how to set that up. Okay, so this is really simple. So see how I have the circle, and I've got it tagged as an enemy. So that means that when my bullet prefab here is spawned, when it hits the enemy, uh, it's going to destroy itself, and then the enemy we want to get it to destroy itself. Uh, and also, if it hits the door, it will the bullet will disappear. Obviously, we don't want the bullet to pass through the door to kill the enemy. Okay, so we'll go to what I call a circle. I'm just going to call this say enemy two because I've got another thing. I one I think is an enemy. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're just going to go to playmaker, and we just need to add a new FSM. We're going to call this, uh, let's say, uh, enemy death. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to want to have uh, four states here. Okay. State one, we'll say hit by bullet. And say choose event. Drop item and then just drop nothing. Alright, so with bullet hit, we're going to add a finish state to here, and then on choose event, we're going to want to have um, some custom events. Now, just for the sake of being simple in this one, I'm just going to put state uh, event A and event B, but normally you probably want to have like a name on them, like oh, drop ammo, drop health, and whatnot. Okay, so we've got A and B, I'm going to put A to here, B to here, and link that to here. Okay, and then in hit by bullet, we're going to add our uh, collider detection. So my bullet is a trigger, so I want a trigger 2D event. Okay, and collide tag, I'm going to set that to bullet. So when the bullet hits here, the trigger bullet hits here, it's going to detect that, send the event to finished. And in choose event, we're going to have send random event. Okay, so by default, this is going to have three events, but I only need two. So I'll set that to two. Now, where it says event, we're going to choose A and B. Um, and then <clears throat> wait. So this is like how likely it is to happen. So 1 is basically 100%. And if you had it as say 0.01, that means there's a 1% chance of that happening. So let's leave at one, so then essentially they'll have a 100% chance of happening, which means basically 
50-50 in this case. We've got two events. So in that sense, you know, if you just had one, um, it, no matter what, even if you had that as one event here and had that to 0.01, 1 percent chance of it happening, because that's the only event, it's going to make it to 100 percent. So yeah, okay. So choose event, and here where it says drop item, we are going to first destroy self, and we can add that to drop nothing as well, then drop nothing is finished. And then in this one here, we'll have create object. <coughs> okay, and let's make this a bit bigger so we can see it clearly, there we go. All right, so we're going to make destroy self in real time. Do the same to this one, and we don't need to change it later. Okay, and then game object. Uh, this is what's going to be spawned. So I've already got the item here. It's just going to be this little, what I call, drop. And then the spawn point, I'm going to set that to be my enemy, or enemy two here. So basically what happen is our bullet is going to come from the player, if the door is open, it's going to travel through here, hit the enemy. The enemy is going to detect that collision, the trigger collision. Um, so you have to make sure it's trigger 2D event and make sure that like your projectile, or even if you're not using projectile, say like a sword or magic, um, make sure that that is set to a trigger. Otherwise, if not you want to use a collision 2D event, where it's like a solid object hitting a solid object, rather than a non-solid object hitting a solid object, or non-solid hitting non-solid. Okay, so it's going to take the bullet, send the event to finished, it's going to come here, and it's going to make a choice, so in this case it's going to be 50-50, because we've got them both set to 100% chance of happening, base essentially, so it's just going to make it to 50-50. Uh, and then it's going to choose one of these, so it's either going to destroy itself and then create a drop, or it's going to go to event B and just drop nothing at all. So, let's just test that's working. Okay, so we've got it here. Uh, because I've got my key map to F, it may sometimes focus in on it. Let's hope I manage to click off it. So I press fire. So you see it hits the door, my bullet there hits the door <coughs> and it just stops. So we're gonna go, we're gonna open the door, fire. He destroys himself and nothing happens there. It's perfect. <coughs> okay, we're gonna open the door, fire. And there we go, we've got our item. through and there we go we've now got our item spawning so obviously you can use this you can have multiple of these well not say multiple but I mean like you can have an unlimited amount really in here as obviously the more you have the less chance of each one happening will be um, but yeah so you can create some quite interesting things with that uh, you could also use it for like um, a spawner, where like, every few seconds you're spawning an enemy, and each time will be a random enemy because you've got this here controlling it. And that is it. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit that like button and also subscribe for more tutorials for how to use Playmaker and Unity from me. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, 8 Bit Squid out.